Hello everybody, this is Mike Dietrich speaking and today I would like to show you another fallback strategy after a database upgrade, the database downgrade. And this strategy can be used even days after the upgrade if compatible hasn't been changed. So here in my example in this video, the database had been upgraded now to Oracle 18C. So I connect to my 18 database and it's very important again that compatible stays on the previous value. I set a tracking marker here and now I initiate a database downgrade and before I set some parameters as by default there is no proper locking done. I shut down my database first before I downgrade it and then I start it up in downgrade mode. So startup downgrade is a special command for database downgrades. Then it's very wise to spool into a file. And now I initiate the database downgrade here with the downgrade script. It's called cut downgrade. It's in the RDB misadmin directory. And you see the downgrade is now running. Now I will move fast forward because it won't make much sense to watch every step of the downgrade here. So I advance the clock a little bit. And the entire downgrade actually of this database takes approximately five minutes. So this is very fast. And after five minutes, the first part of the downgrade is completed. But that is not the complete thing. So we need to initiate now a second action. So first of all, in the 18 environment, after the downgrade script is completed, I shut down my database immediate. And once the database is shut down, I switch to the previous environment. In my case, this is an Oracle 11.204 environment. I upgraded from before. There I start up the database now in upgrade mode. And once the database is open, I set some parameters here as well to get proper logging. What we can't do is set server output on because the DBMS standard package is not accessible. I spool again into a file. And once the spooling is started, I can now start a cut reload script. So this loads now a lot of things back into the database. And this is the second part of the downgrade operation. So I advance the clock here as well. So we spool fast forward and 11 minutes later, so altogether 11 plus 5, 16 minutes later, the database is now completely downgraded. The final step is now to recompile. So I start utlrp, but the recompilation is fairly quick because most things are correctly set already. And now my database is successfully downgraded. I will do now a final check, select start from v$ version, just to make sure that everything is in proper stage. So 11.204, downgrade completed in 16 minutes. So this was a full database downgrade, and as long as you don't change compatible, this is a very efficient and even faster than an upgrade way back to the previous release. So for your next fallback strategies, give this a try. Thanks for your attention and bye-bye.